I'd like to demonstrate a little bit about how to use the, the menu on the report side. It's really important to be able to get the reports out as, a, as an operator and user. So I hit the menu button, you see the menu gives you a bunch of selections. The one that's important for the operator is the report section. As you can see, there's many, many different types of reports that you can get out of the system. So one that's really important to most customers right off the bat is typically alarms, environmental, and delivery. So we'll show a little bit about the alarms. Under the alarms, you have active, history, non-priority, and priority. So let's look at the active alarms. This would be what would be in the system that's currently active. There's nothing at this system right now that's, that's an alarm. If I go to history, you'll see it's showing a bunch of different alarms and conditions. So for instance, here, my system had no paper in it and I had a paper out condition. It was active back in, uh, in September and then it cleared a couple of minutes later after we put the paper in. Continuing with the alarm in the history, you also can select on non-priority. Non-priority alarms are lower priority alarms that are in the system, since it's a printer error, a sensor out warning or a sensor data warning. These are just alarms that tell us the functionality of what's going on with the system. A sensor out warning is telling us there's a sensor that's not communicating, and then a data warning means that something wasn't set up properly in the gauge. That's a non-priority. And then if you select this, this is called a breadcrumb again, you can click on priority. These are the ones that have a higher priority. So for instance, obviously a fuel alarm at your site would be a high priority uh, alarm that you'd want to address. So again, this is your alarm report that you can extract out of menu under reports, alarms, and then you can select it this way or you can use the breadcrumb.